everyone, so I decided to do a book review today, which I've never done before, and honestly before this year, I just never really got into the whole reading thing. I could say I didn't have time, but in reality I'm thinking about all of the Netflix shows I watched and how much time I truly did have on my hands. But anyways, recently I've just been loving reading, and it's just been a great thing to do in this world, not to mention... I don't know what the not to mention is. I was about to be like, not to mention, but I have nothing that's not to mention. I want to mention everything. Ugh. But basically, I decided to kick off my book reviews that I might be doing. And I understand some of you, you know, don't like reading and don't watch book reviews. That's totally fine. You can kind of just, like, not watch these. Although I think they are going to be very interesting because I'm going to have an assortment of books. Some of them will be autobiographical and, like, memoirs, that type of thing, which I find so interesting and so fascinating oh my gosh it's like kind of like opening up a book and just reading a person's life and like what to do what not to do their secrets stuff oh my i just can't think of anything more some of it will be like inspirational i have this one book that i want to do a review on so badly but one of my friends is borrowing it because a whole bunch of my friends were actually borrowing it because that's how good it was i couldn't stop talking about it but so today i decided to do a fictitious book review actually which i don't really read that much fiction but once i read this book i now want to just pick up like every book that's fiction because this was wonderful and it is no other than looking for alaska by john green and i'm sure unless you live under a rock you have heard of this book actually i've talked to a couple people and they haven't heard of it which i was surprised about but I feel like even last year when I didn't read, I heard about this book so much. Looking for Alaska, looking for Alaska, looking for Alaska. Everyone was talking about it. And I was like, what is looking for Alaska? Like, who is this Alaska girl that everyone's looking for? Like, <laughs> that's not even funny. But basically, I really wanted to know. And so I've heard about it, I've heard about it, I've heard about it. And then my friend Tana actually had the book. And I was just sitting in her room one day. And we were just like chilling and doing homework and stuff. And then I just like picked up this book. And I was like, why don't I just like start it? Like, what? Like, it was really weird because I don't read fiction. I finished it in a matter of a couple days, and oh my gosh, it was amazing. Amazing. I really, I enjoyed it. I, I'm the type of person, I could read, read, I could read a little, you know, get up to like the 10th page. Same with movies, we'll get up to like 10 minutes in the movie and be like, nope, close the book, shut off the movie, get on my life. However, I read all 220 pages. That's actually a really short book. Whatever. 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 I read all of the pages, and I absolutely loved it. So basically, this book is about a guy named Pudge. His real name is actually Miles Halter, but they call him Pudge. And he is kind of, he doesn't really fit in with his friend group in high school. Didn't really have many friends, not really, not really anything like that. He had a wonderful mother, a wonderful father, but with the friend department, he was lacking. So he decided to go to boarding school. And it is at boarding school that he kind of finds his little niche. And he meets two people in particular. I mean, he meets a couple others who are, like, key in the book. But these two people are, like, I would consider, like, the main people. And one of them is Colonel. The Colonel. That's not his real name, but they call him the Colonel. And that's Pudge's roommate. And then he meets a girl named Alaska. And from the moment he meets Alaska, he's just captivated by her. I mean, she is just everything that is perfect to him. She's just beautiful on the inside out, and he cannot get Alaska out of his mind. I mean, he's just infatuated. But more than infat infatuated, not just, like, superficially, it's it goes deeper than that. It's like her personality, everything about her. But Alaska has a boyfriend. And basically, he gets to know these people quite well. And the, kind of, the book is kind of just like a tale of their lives and the things that happen in boarding school. And all of that. And it's just so magnificent. When I look back on it, I'm like, it's not even like so many things were happening. It's more like the way it was written and how it was written. The author, John Green, did such a wonderful job with kind of transforming into Miles Pudge Halter. He really did get into character and it wasn't like you're reading a book from John Green's perspective, a 40 year old, I don't know how old he is, I'm just guessing like a middle aged man. You were reading it in Miles Pudge Halter's eyes and what he thought of everything. And I will say that this book did had a surprising ending. It was shocking and that's what this book is known for. It wasn't predictable at all. And each and every like little chapter I guess you could say at the beginning says 136 days before, 50 days before, that type of thing. And it's all leading up to one event, this huge event that happens. And the whole book, I mean, that's what really that's a really clever move on John Green's part, because you're wondering what the heck is this, this that is happening? And that's the thing that happens, the unpredictable thing. And then it's after. And then it says the day after, two days after, three days. So the thing that happens, you still have a big chunk of the book to read. I mean, it's still like wonderful. And the book, the way he writes it, it's that you always want to keep reading because there's always something you want to know. So I really did like that about it and I just thought this was such a wonderful book. I mean, it won... What did it win? 
It won some type of thing. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. So I really just did enjoy this book, and I definitely would recommend it to people who enjoy a good fiction read. But I wouldn't say this, this is not your typical romantic book, and this isn't the type of thing where everything's going to fall into pieces at the end, fall into, fall into place, fall into pieces, fall into place at the end, and everyone's going to live happily ever after. It's darker than that. I mean, it's kind of more realistic, I guess you could say, although I don't really know if it's real. Okay. But it's more like what could happen. I mean, it's not just all butterflies and daisies at all. Like, at all. It's actually not at all. I say that one more time, but and it's a little sad, but I think it was a wonderful read, and I definitely would recommend it. I really wish I could just like speak about what I thought about the thing that happened, but I cannot because I don't want to ruin it for you guys. But I just thought it was fabulous and wonderful, and I also thought it was interesting showing it from a guy's point of view. I feel like so many books I read it from the girl's point of view, so it's so cool seeing like from a guy point of view. I really like that also about this, and I just thought it was, as the Chicago Tribune Tribune says, compelling. Brilliant and insightful. Couldn't have said it better myself. But I'm going to go, and if you read this book, comment down below what you thought about it. Let's have a little discussion, open it up for everyone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Why is this in it? His actual real name is actually... His real name is actually... What are their names? I forget their names. Wow. What's the third? John, John Green.